Hi team, this is Chris Abram from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 16 on the 53 Math MTEL. This is a great problem for all the teachers that are preparing for the Math MTELs. Um, whether it's a general curriculum math subtest, the 53 elementary math exam, or the 4751 middle school exams, and even the 09 exam. So check this video out, study this problem because this is a very good one to use. You should know the core math behind this. Number 16, first thing I want to do is I always want to read over the problem and identify core concepts. So let's read it. Maria ran seven and a half miles on Monday. On Wednesday, she ran four-fifths the distance she ran on Monday. And on Saturday, she ran one and a half times the distance she ran on Wednesday. If Maria, um, if Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday were the only days Maria ran, what was the total distance that she ran during the week? Great. <laughs> I've got to figure out what she ran on Wednesday and Saturday. I've got to add them up. Oh, boy. Don't worry about this. This is not a terrible problem. It's actually a, a, a stock problem. Think of this as a very standard number sense and operations word problem. Now, what are the core ideas? Well, we, I see fractions and I see whole numbers right? So we actually have something called mixed numbers. Seven and a half is a mixed number. It has part whole, part fraction. Um, I see fractions, the four-fifths. Now, we're going to get into the different strategies to solve these, but I want you to take a moment. I want you to, you know, retrieve all the information you know about fractions and, um, and see if you can rejog your memory. For example, if I wanted to think about, you know, some of these as uh, decimals, I could very easily think four-fifths as a decimal could be expressed as 0.8. And the seven and a half as a decimal, I could think of as 7.5. Thinking about this one as 1.5. We know that she does the first day seven and a half. Look, I converted it into a decimal. The second day, she does four-fifths, or 0.8 of seven and a half. So if I wanted to find out the second day, I would have to take my uh, seven, so the first day is 7.5. If I want to find out the second day, I would take this 7.5 and multiply it by four-fifths, and we just converted it to uh, 0 0.8. So zero there. Well, how do I do that? Well, this is decimal multiplication, so this would be like, 8 times 5 would get you um, 40, carry the 4, 8 times the 7 is 56, plus the 4 is uh, 60. By the way, as I do these, I want you to pause and do it yourself. It will only help you, because doing decimal multiplication is, uh, is a skill, and I'm not just doing this right now off the top of my head, I've done this video like 3 or 4 times this morning. <laughs> I mean... It's taken a couple goes to get to this video. I've made lots of mistakes. So my point is that I've had the opportunity to practice this. Now you should pause the video and, and practice it yourself too. All right, so I'm hoping you paused it. Let's continue. Okay, so when I did the multiplication, I have to factor in that there's two decimal spaces to account for. So this actually is 7.5 times 0 0.8, or 4 fifths, could be also represented as 6. So the second day, she does six miles. Now, on Wednesday, she does, um, on, Wednesday, on, her, on Saturday, she ran one and a half times the distance she ran on Wednesday. So we take our six, we multiply it by 1.5. All right, so what's five times six? Five times six is 30. Um, you know what? Let's flip it. Let's put the 1.5 on top and the six on the bottom will make life a lot easier. Six times five is 30, carry the three. Six times one is six times the three is nine. 90 miles? No. Make sure you factor in the decimal, one space, one unit. So on this Saturday, she ran nine miles. So now we have these, seven and a half, six, and nine. We add them up. Well. I have a half here. It's not that bad. Seven plus six. Seven plus six is like 
almost 12, it's 13, because the 7's not 6, so I got 13 plus 9. 9 is almost like a 10, so that would be like 23, but it's not a 10, it's a 9, one less. What am I getting at? You could think of any strategy that's going to help you do the addition. Just make sure you do it correctly, because they're always very close. Now, does this match up with anything? If you're thinking in terms of fractions, decimals, percents, then you could think of this as, hey, this is 22 and a half, and that matches up here. Team, I was going to approach this a whole other way, but I'm thinking this is a really cool way to think about um, your fractions and your fraction word problems and the way of converting you know, your, frac your mixed numbers into decimals might be a better way to approach how to get to the answer of B. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. The answer to this problem is B. If you need help on these, definitely attend the MTEL Math workshops. It definitely is a memorable experience, and it will help you on your exam. All right, team, take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, I wanted to uh, encourage everyone if you have time to check out one of the MTEL math workshops. This is a great time to make new connections in the math. It's two days, one or two day workshop. Uh, you can go to GoMath and find out more information. Take care. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.